So here we are. It's a bit windy. Here we are. Well, here's him indoors putting the potatoes. He dug the trenches out. He's already done one row. This is the second row. These are Pentland Javelins and their first earlies. Okay, I'll show you us doing the next lot in a minute. This is the third row, third trench being dug. So all we're doing is we're digging and then we're covering back over. We're still on the first earlies. So as you can see, he's covering over the the tubers there. So we're now on to the fourth trench, but this time we're putting two first earlies in and a salad crop. So this is the fifth and final row for the potatoes. In this one it's slightly different again. We've got three first earlies and three mains. And I'll see how the earlies go because they are slightly different dimension to the mains. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. So here we have the first earlies and there's three of them. And as you can see, they're a bit closer together. Whereas you have the main crop here, which are a bit more spaced out. Okay, so we're going to cover these ones over. See you in a minute. Here is Master Rika. He loves raking, so this is always his job in the garden if anything needs to be raked. So There we go. So I just wanted to show you, I'm going to put some potato seed on the ground and it recommends for every square meter, let me find it, you need to use, let me see if I can get you in there, 100 grams for every square meter and we've figured it out, it's about 6 square meters here, so we need about 600 grams onto this soil okay uh, because I forgot to put it in at the front I'm gonna put it at the top and then I'm just covering it back over and then when I start seeing sprouting in a I would say about three weeks time hopefully and then I'll uncover it and then the rain will do its job okay let me just measure these I don't know if you can can you see Scales, right? Let's fight the box to get in. Definitely fighting the box to get into this. <laughs> there we go. I've got in. So I'm just gonna go onto the scales. And I'm gonna put you on a box just wait a minute. So see. This is my house scales. This is the kitchen scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thoroughly wash it. So there we go. Like I've said before, the cardboard is just on the ground to stop the cats using it as a toilet. So 
this is the ground here so at the moment you can see that the bricks sorry that's the lens the bricks are marking roughly out underneath the cardboard there underneath where the rows of potatoes are okay okay i don't know if you can hear me the wind has picked up so ideally you to put the feed in when you're putting the soil in on the bottom but i always forget so i tend to put it at the top so as you can see it's along here and i'm just going to get the tarpaulin in and the cardboard back over it to stop the cats using it as a toilet until the shoots come up and we're still in the iffy season for the weather at the moment so that is the potato update for you okay thanks for watching bye so he so here are the um, end results so the bricks are currently marking roughly the place where the rows are and in a couple of weeks time I'll come down and check to see how they're going and if needs be I will remove the plastic from the cardboard I don't know if you can hear me it's really windy today okay thanks for watching bye